Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on sequences and lists. Lists and sequences are pretty much like uh, holders for data, or strings usually, or even variables if you choose to do that as well. Now lists are really easy to make, and it, all it requires is like basically commas and then square brackets like that. Everything else you should already know about how it works. So we're going to assign this to uh, my list and we're going to make that equal to square brackets. Inside the square brackets you're going to put what you're going to use for um, whatever your list is going to contain. So inside list let's make um, dad well how about we do something else. Hmm, what's a little bit more creative? Uh, how about soda names? That, that's fun, I guess. So we got Pepsi. We have uh, Coke. We have uh, root beer. Um, what else do we got? Let's make two more. Um, Sprite. And last one we will put as hmm, Dr. Pepper. Okay, so here's basically what's going on. Our list is uh, assigned as a variable right here. So that's our vari variable, and here's our list. And the equal signs, just like with any other variable, just declares that you're assigning a variable. So we have Pepsi in quotations because it's not a, another variable. So basically what's going on is it's saying that we want the string Pepsi put first. And the comma is telling Python that there's more to be put into their own um, uh, their own pieces of the list. So we press enter and now it's stored. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to recall information from a list which is pretty nice and easy. Okay, so to recall information from your list just put the list name so in our case it is uh, oops, it's yeah, my bad my list and then we're going to put square brackets and square brackets are actually used for everything that is a sequence so other things that you'll learn about like tuples and dictionaries also use square brackets for recalling the information now when you recall the information you're just going to be using a number however if you want to be using the number you have to realize something python does not count one two three four five it has an offset of zero so the first number is that offset so the first one is zero one, two, three, four. So if we want to recall something like root beer, it's not three, it's actually two. And we get root beer. But what if you have a really, really long list and you don't know what it is? Because it's, it's near the end, but you don't want to have to go one, two, three, and then have to re-account for the offset. Well, Python accounted for something uh, just like that as well. It's um, just called a negative number. So let's say we want to do root beer again. What we do is negative 3. Now, negative 3, you may be thinking, but doesn't have an offset. That doesn't account for an offset of 0. When you're counting backwards, there is no offset of 0 because you can't have a negative 0. So this is negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So we get root beer if we do negative 3. And also with sequences of like a uh, string. So let's say we'll just use Pepsi because that's the first one I see there. Now let's say we want to get a letter from that. Let's say we want to get the second P. You just do 2 like that and you'll get P. So 
you can also do it with just little pieces of strings, whether it's in a variable or not. So, like a is equal to um, hello, and then we do a um, three. We should get the second l. We get l. So that's how you can work with lists and sequences. This was a very short tutorial on lists. I know because there are much more things to learn about lists that we will go over in later more advanced tutorials that you probably want to understand the uh, terminology and stuff like that yet so I'm going to hold off that for a while so I hope that this was a nice little basic understanding of what a list was and how it works you guys should practice this until you can get a list down pretty easily and then move on to our next tutorial which will be something pretty nice for you Thank you guys for watching. Please comment if you have any questions or recommendations or just comment about the video. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe for my future videos.